Tonight, businesses and homeowners near the Wilcox Tunnel say things are starting to pick up again. The tunnel opened back up today. Brittany Nicholson joins us now live from there with more. Brittany. Kim, those who drive through the tunnel daily say they're glad to finally see it lit up tonight. This is the, they've been waiting for these improvements for nearly seven months now. And today I spoke with business owners who say they're happy to see a boom from the traffic here. We can smile. It's like the sun come out again. With new lights, a new liner, and a new water system, the Wilcox Tunnel is back open. It was worth it. I just wish, you know, it hadn't taken so long. Seven months ago, the tunnel looked like this. Residents complained about water leaking onto the road and other issues. It's lucky that someone really wasn't seriously hurt with that big problem of the tunnel leaking, and it's so draft and dark in there. Mayor Andy Berg held a news conference after it opened Monday afternoon. Today we're opening it back up for traffic and make sure that these neighborhoods are connected again. City Councilman Russell Gilbert says the repairs took longer than they originally thought. When they start sandblasting, they start noticing that the, the is more uh, leakage coming out than what we expect. That pushed the finish date back about a month. Mayor Burke says the city wants to compensate the businesses who struggled after it closed. Well, we want everybody to come visit these businesses and uh, we put together along with city council a construction mitigation program so that those businesses who were impacted by the closure would have a, a place to come to. The managers at VIP Cuts and Styles say Monday was a big day for their business. Yes, I've definitely seen a lot more people in the last definitely in the last few hours and I've seen the last seven months for sure. The tunnel is open but our work here isn't done. Uh, we're going to make sure that uh, we continue particularly with the look of the tunnel. Mayor Burke says they want to put art outside of the tunnel and also landscaping right outside each end of the tunnel. Reporting live from Wilcox Boulevard, Brittany Nicholson, News Channel 9. Brittany, thank you very much.